Hey guys, it's Intro. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, this one's another one I wanted to talk about. Might resonate with a few of my viewers, might not. And it's resting. And so I've been struggling with this since I've moved out of home again into a disability facility. And if you follow the channel things for a while, you know there's been a few things that what was advertised and what was the reality are not exactly the same. Um, but in saying that, I've just had a really productive meeting with some people and that's getting sorted out the wheels are in motion. But one thing that they pointed out or and that I've been struggling with is comparing myself to non-disabled peers versus disabled peers. So all of my friendship network actually do work. And I for a lot of years was able to do to work. And I still would love to be able to hack a job. I'm trying to make the YouTube my job, guys. But I do need to have a lot of rest and a lot of downtime. And so it's just a really interesting thing that there's a guilt put on people uh, that you should be able to do it. So it's you should be able to work, you should be able to study, you feel guilty for not being productive all the time. I live with chronic pain. I live with some chronic pain, epilepsy, some mental health issues as well. And my anxiety has been through the roof at the moment. And now that I'm back on track, I'm finding the energy, but I'm finding that I'm having to pace myself, essentially to use the language to co-opt it, use my spoons wisely and to pace myself throughout the day and pacing is a really interesting concept um hadn't heard about much of it but i'm going to be doing it a heck of a lot more so pacing is that where you plan out your day but you think about how much energy that is going to take you and if that's realistic or not um it does go back to like a spoon theory as well and they are checking out my iron they are checking out a lot of other things as well but that spoon theory is something we need to be very aware of um and just letting go of that guilt being able to rest and relax when you need it and not feeling guilty because you're not keeping up i know i did a video over christmas about not feeling guilty if you can't keep up as well and so i think that guilt is put onto us by society because we see a lot of the feel-good stories about people with a disability and their support workers doing micro business doing disability enterprises but the question they are great do not get me wrong they're great but the question then becomes what other resources do they have in their life to be able to start up a business the baseline cost is about five hundred dollars you need that money to make money uh, so looking at that we'll see that there's investors involved generally parents from a higher socioeconomic background generally and then when you start to dig deeper you start to see that being from a higher socioeconomic background they had the money to start that they had the money for the good reports as well and so guys give yourself permission to rest to live on the budget if you need to and don't be afraid again to ask for help 
and remembering that you're not a burden and that some things are not your fault and this is something that I've been struggling with that some situations have come up that are genuinely not my fault but people seem to want to push that onto me that it is and that really has affected my physical and mental health because the two are actually interlinked um as well guys and guys thank you so much for supporting me on the journey if you can like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video